This is gonna be our drop through. When I get into my drop, I go through, and my through is gonna be relaxed and subtle, and I'm gonna try to stun a little bit, shift my weight to the right, and then I'm gonna be able to attack. So right, I'll get to my drop, drop, slow through. Notice just that small stunt, the shift, changing my pace, and changing pace and speed with it here. So I'll drop, slow, little shift, through. Once again, understand both sides for footwork. Really shift that weight. Try not to just get that foot out there, but try to also shift that weight out there as well. That's our drop through. Our through is gonna be a little slow. Adding that stunt to explode. Killer move right there. Now we're getting into our drop. Our drop through. Now to our in and out. So once again, this is when I, my footwork, my body position. When I go through, now I'm getting to my shift. So throw my body to the right side. Ball and body shift, attack, and then have that quick speed stop. Drop through to an in and out. Drop through, there's my shift. Notice everything is kind of right at that defender. I'm attacking, attack, shift, boom and go. All flowing with it, getting that defender, getting that defender to back up. Going right at him every time. Drop, drop through, shift, and behind the back. Right there, I drop through in and out to attack. Last one now, when I get into my drop, dropping through, and as soon as I'm going through, I see a defender cutting me off, I'm going right to our crossover. So I'll go drop, drop, through, cross. I'll go behind the back. Now, just warming up this rep, you guys are at home. Now you get to go left to right, right to left each and every time. So I get in my drop, drop, through, and cross, keeping those feet wide every time. Try to be aggressive as you can with your footwork and your handle. Crossing the ball over as fast or faster than you can. Shifting your weight. Shift and snatch. Take it to the basket now. You guys will be able to see every single example. So first I just wanna start with that drop right now. Me being able to drop one, two, right? I see a, I see a, a lane or a gap to attack. Right now I'm going to a hard two dribble pull up now, right near that elbow. Drop into a two dribble pull up, knocking it down. Understanding what that drop footwork is each and every time. See feet, one, two, rise up for my shot. Now here, same thing, we're going to a drop, just one dribble pull up. I want to access my feet, feet, and then get right into my pull up. Each and every time, I'm really trying to sell that drive. I'm more of a one to two miles per hour. When I drop, my body lowers, I attack. That defender's trying to beat me to a spot and I'm just pulling up real quick. So the quicker your feet get to the floor, the quicker I can get into my shot. With this stuff here, it's all about keeping things simple. The greatest players that we can think about, the Kobe's, the LeBron's, right? The Kevin Durant's. If you really look at their game, it's really, really simple. Right, so that's what this workout is right here. This footwork is, it's real simple footwork, but you gotta be able to master. And then I, once again, I'm giving you guys options. Now next is gonna be my drop through. So I wanna be able to drop, one, two. Right, I see that defender start to shift. I'm going right through at that angle right off of him. Drop through, pull up, footwork, one, two, through right into it. Notice it's one, two, through each and every time. So I'm here, one, two, through right to my shot. Changing the pace, right? I can go lateral movement with it and then I get into my drop. Maybe it tries to cut me off. I get right into my shot. More Luca right here, right? Same move, but now I'm just changing that pace. So I'm going, I'm going from that zero to 60. Now I'm just going zero to 60, back to 30, and then right back to 70 now. So here it's being able to get my quick drop. Then remember my slow, then I just want that quick little shift. Right, if I can get them to move, that's perfect. I just want to stun them from half a second. Now I'm able to get that one or two step advantage to get myself an angle to attack the rim for a shot or for a pass to set up somebody else. As we go in our drop, as we worked on earlier, drop, through, this is going right at my defender. Shift right to that in and out now, all right? Drop through with that in and out shift, going right at my defender. 
each and every time. Going right at my defender. Drop, shift, downhill, right from my pull up. Last one here, I wanna be able to get to my drop through cross. So once again, drop through, my weight shifting on that foot. Now that cross, I'm really whipping that cross aggressive and tight. Boom, I'll switch it up. Sometimes I'll get lateral space, and sometimes you can kind of get downhill. But once again, be able to master both, because at these moves right here are all situational. Left. Really big working out It's having that imagination. Once again, understand what you're working on, but also you gotta be able to have that imagination. Same situation is not gonna happen over and over. I tell my players, make sure you master the situation. Once you master it, then that's where you can start having fun with the footwork a little bit. That right there is gonna be our drop through tutorial. I wanted to give you guys options, help you at home become shiftier, but also being able to master the simple things. We already get into this drop. If you're a basketball player, mid-level, high level, you already know how to drop, whether you know it or don't. Then when those defenders cut you off, you'll get into your crossovers. But today I want to focus on that through. You had your slow, you had your go, you'd be able to have that little stunt in and out. And of course, being able to cross the ball over. Master these, let me know what you think. Also, let me know in the comments what you want to see below. Coach Marcus Hyde, the separation team. You're right, no man, let's get it. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. We're on fire right now, baby, let's get it.